Good, you're up. It is a beautiful day. Do you want to go with me down down to the lake? The lilies are blooming, and I yeah. Want to cut it out. It. Cut it out, Claudia, please. Excuse me. Well, the, the happy mood, the plans, the I just I don't ha I don't have the patience. That's your whole problem. You know that. You're too concerned with things that don't matter. You want to know what matters? Yeah. The annual today, so we can find out whose baby you're carrying and where this marriage is headed. I know that I have the amnio today, Sonny. I wouldn't forget something that important. Nothing's gonna change just because Rick's out of town. And if the, the baby is Rick's, and you were stupid enough to sleep with him, get yourself pregnant, this marriage is done. I got it. You want the baby to be Rick's so that you can dump me and go off with your Bensonhurst whore. Why do you... It's fine. What does a levy have to do with it? Huh? Everything. Yeah? Oh, you know what, Sonny? You never wanted to be married to me anyway. You never wanted this marriage. All you ever wanted was the power that my father put on me. And yeah, why do you sound so surprised? We both arranged for this. You thought it was a great idea at first. I wasn't pregnant then. Not that you care. You know what's funny, though? <laughs> I know that this is your baby, Sonny, and you're stuck. But when the amnio proves it, you're gonna have to take a long, hard look at the way that you've been treating his mother. It's funny that I'm good enough for you to sleep with, but not good enough to treat with decency. Nothing ever happened that wasn't your idea first. Oh, well, that was me meeting you halfway. You couldn't even do that. And you know what? If you think for a second that that I'm gonna let this continue after our baby is born, that I'm going to let our child grow up in a house with you treating me that way, you're dead wrong. What is it you want? I don't know, let's take a look at the other women who've given you children. There's Alexis, mm -hmm. who you treat with respect that she doesn't deserve, which is nothing compared to the way that you grovel at Carly's feet. The woman who gave you your two sons, you treat her like she's a saint and not some crazy whack job pain in the don't, ass. Don't, hey, wait, don't, don't say one word about Carly. Oh, right, so there you don't. go. You just proved my point. I deserve the same respect you give to Carly. I'm your wife and I'll have it or I'll leave. This baby you're carrying is mine. I will give you the benefit of the doubt about loyalty, love, even even Michael shooting, unless I'm, I'm proved wrong. You sound like my father. I'm not your father. I treat you like a partner in business. I respect you in front of my men, and I've kept you safe. You're dismissive, and you're cold, and you're worse. If you're, if you're asking me to love you, it's not gonna happen. But you knew that going into this. But if this child is mine, I will love it. I will raise it. I will be involved in this baby's life. I will give this baby the life he or she deserves. Well, it sounds like it's all about the baby. I mean, where do I fit in? Do I? Well, well I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you want me to do about that. I know that this is our baby. And I will love the baby completely. What else do you want? I don't get any respect for giving you a child. Is well, that the, what you're the, saying? I mean, you got to understand where I'm coming from, right? I don't know how, you know, look, how hard is it for you to get knocked up? I, I'll never know whether you trap me. <laughs> You love being dark and tortured, don't you? It's like living in your own private little hell. It's not for me. It's since when it's not for you? You turn every conversation into a battle. No, I don't, Sonny. No? That's you. I have been working like like crazy to make this this marriage work. Why? How? Sleeping with my brother? You know what? That was a million years ago, oh. and you're sleeping with Olivia despite this baby that you say that you're committed to. If this baby is not mine, I owe you nothing. Will you hang on to that, Sonny? You keep treating me like the enemy long enough. That's what I'll become. Thanks, Dr. Lee, I'll be there. 
The appointment's all confirmed for the amnio. I'm coming with you. Oh, that's so sweet of you, really? Mm -hmm. It's really sweet that you want to sit there with me and check and make sure I don't switch the DNA results. Although that's not a bad idea. I can make him say it was Rick's baby. It's just not that much fun being your wife. Claudia? Huh? You don't want to be my enemy. Oh, how would I know the difference? Where does all this come from? I don't know. Just Seriously. Big day today. Big day. Gonna find out if I'm having a boy or a girl, whether or not my child is healthy, or if, God forbid, it has some sort of a genetic a defect. Given your family history and mine, that's a very real possibility. And I'm just trying to stay positive. But you know what, Sonny? I'll tell you the truth, I don't really give a damn at this point who the baby's father is. I mean, because it doesn't matter. All that matters is it's going to have me for a mother. You almost sound like you mean that. When my mother was pregnant with me, my father made her life m miserable, just a complete living hell. I was already a nuisance to him in the womb, <laughs> competing for her attention. So she told me that she used to go down by the water and watch the lilies in the pond. And that's where she told me that she would always love me and she would always protect me. That's why I wanted you to go down to the water with me. But you'd rather sit by my side in the hospital like some DNA cop. That's fine. It's your loss. i tell you the truth. I don't really give a damn what you do anymore. Rick's. That's a good question there, Johnny. <laughs>